Good afternoon, everybody. So today is day three of our um, chemical test, and we are on a continuous journey uh, to correct our um, chemicals, basically. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I dropped it. Okay, so this is our test number one. This is the froggies one, and this has the four um, four different um, test levels on it. So we're going to check out another test. Okay, leave that in there. All right, bring our little testy thing over here. See what we got going on. All right, so first one is pH. All right, so what I wanted to tell you at the top is um, a smart color out indicator. So if lighter it says check to see the cartridge is empty if darker no action is required so the top one is basically the smart color test which I forgot to tell you guys that yesterday so the smart color is out of is basically your chlorine level and you can see that we are uh, yeah our <laughs> our chlorine levels are really really low which we already knew that and then the second the second level on this one is your pH which our pH is coming up. We're, we're getting within range and then our um, alkalinity is still low and our calcium, you see the brown, we're still at 250. We are still in the middle of the road. So we are doing good there. Um, at, and you can tell like the higher that we, or the more um, chlorine that we put in here, you can see that our yellows, our two middle sections, which is our pH and our alkalinity, is coming up slowly as well. This is why I tell you guys, less is more. Add a little bit at a time because you can change from pretty blue to brown in an instant, guys, and you will be very discouraged, which we definitely don't want to do. So that is what the top the top one is a smart color indicator, which I forgot to tell you guys that on uh, yesterday when we did a test strip. So that's why they're four, because this is an automatic. This is your chlorine right here, and it is still green. All right, so let's let's get on with the next one. This one, why I like this three three little one is because it automat the top one is an automatic chlorine so it gives me more precise instead of this green so let's do a quick quick test on that guy okay oh yeah okay so see how it's turning a little bit pink and that is what why I have two different um, two different test strips so you can see that it is at 0.5 it is starting to get a little pink. So that's why I tell you guys to br uh, bring your levels up slowly and always start with your chlorine because your chlorine affects all these others, it affects the alkalinity and the pH. And you can see that all the other levels are coming up as well. Do you see that? So that's why we always start with our uh, chlorine first when you're doing your water tests. It's very important you don't want to start messing with your pH and stuff because oh my gosh <laughs> the first year that let me give you a story so the first year that we had our pool um, I could not get the chlorine and the alkalinity and the pH to level off so what happened was I added so much pH it was way past 90 and it went from this to brown Oh my gosh, it went brown like within four hour, <laughs> four hour span. So then I had to start all over. Yep. So then what I had to do was put the pH decreaser in and it went from <laughs> a brown to a very light brown. And then eventually it, it, uh, it cleared up, but it went from pretty blue to brown in like four hours. So, uh, leave it, <laughs> you know. Leave it alone and always mess with your chlorine first because it's your chlorine that draws everything else and um, sets everything um, into a happy, uh, happy medium. Yeah. 
So take it from somebody who knows. Uh, once you start messing with the pH or the alkalinity, it can get you in some serious trouble really quickly, guys. So there you have it. So as you can see, our chlorine is coming along uh, very quite nicely and it is so nice to have um, a couple different test strips because some of them may give you a false and you go start messing um, around and you could get into trouble very quickly so it's coming along really nice guys and I hope this is helping those out who are getting in some trouble with your pool I know I got a question um, on my uh, on my YouTube channel about um, a gentleman he cannot get his pool from going from green to clear so when you start off your algae you want to shut your pump off everything put two gallons of algicide in let it sit and then scrub the heck out of it <clears throat> let it sit for a whole day and then turn your filter on and let your filter filter out all that algae then after you filtered it your pool out and you backwashed I'm gonna say three or four times then you want to come back and put your two gallons of chlorine in liquid chlorine and let that filter out um, into your sand filter or whatever filter you have for another two days and it it should clear up quite nicely but remember you're gonna have to add water while you're back flushing um, your algae and your chlorine uh, to get your water to go clear so uh all right guys just some tips for you thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one happy swimming good morning everybody so it is the next day and i did a test yesterday and i'm putting these two videos together so that you can kind of see um, how rainwater affects your uh, pool. So it rained all day yesterday and into a little bit of this morning. So can you see the water level on that skimmer? It is completely to the top. It is about maybe one eighth, one quarter of an inch from the top. That is a lot of rainwater. <laughs> So we got, um, it raised the pool level about three inches and you can see the bottom. Um, every time we get rain, I get all this sediment because rainwater has so much dirt in it, guys. But um, I wanted to show you exactly um, why less is more um, on your test strips. So um, let's get right into this, guys. And um, I'm still doing the two test strips. Uh, two tests, two different kinds of tests here, and I'm going to show you why in a minute, okay? So let's get right into this guy and hold him in there for two seconds, and we're going to see exactly what we got, guys. This is really exciting. Okay, so the first test, um, you can see we have the um, smart match at the top, and it says if lighter... Um, if your green level is lighter, you want to check your chlorine. If darker, uh, no action is required. So do you see how much darker um, that our chlorine has gotten? That's because we are spot on now with our chlorine. And since we're spot on with our chlorine, so that means that our pH is almost to where it needs to be and also the alkalinity see how the darker yellow it is almost there so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put a little bit of pH increaser in there and our um, calcium is still holding at 20, 250 um, parts per million so that's good that is really good and that is really exciting so it says, if darker, no action is required. Do you see the top of this test? So if your test strip is lighter, uh, that means your levels are low. And this is a quick strip. So if darker, no action is required. All right, so that's, that's good. That's good to know. But we're definitely going to do a second test strip because we want to, we want to really know if it's not giving a false positive or not. So let's go ahead and stick this baby in there and we're going to do a double check, right? Okay. All right. Let's see here. What do we got? So on this one, 
Yeah, holy cow, guys. Okay, so this is really exciting. So the top, do you see where our purple is? So this is free chlorine. It is right in smack dab in the middle, guys. This is so exciting. Um, and it rained all day yesterday. I put a little more um, chlorine in the in the duck. We got the pellets. So that is that is awesome. I hope this focuses. There we go. And um, so our alkalinity is still a little low. We need to raise that, and we need to uh, raise our our pH. So that's spot on. And I'm going to raise the pH a little bit. And that should really take care of all of that. So this is exciting. And um, remember guys, raise your levels a little at a time. You don't want to go hog wild because it can re uh, really reap havoc um, on, your, on your levels. And once you go over, it is so hard guys to, to get it to, uh, to go down. I would rather increase slowly than have to go down um, drastically. So this is awesome. So the two tests and our chlorine now is finally, finally in the positive. So the next thing that I'm going to do is put a little bit of um, pH increaser in there. And that's all I'm going to do. So the rainwater, one thing that the rainwater does, it does provide nitrogen. Um, phosphorus and potassium um, naturally um, now it does <laughs> the bad thing about rainwater is it um, lets a lot of anti uh, microbials uh, take hold but if your chlorine is stable you won't have a lot of algae growth and um, it will keep your pool algae from growing it prohibits that so the next thing that we do is the pH, guys. So this is really exciting. And let me, um, it's in the pool box there. So hang on and I'm going to get it out. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to put in is this pH plus powder. And this raises the pH and controls the acidic um, values in the pool. And once again, guys, less is more. A little bit at a time because if you do too much pH, your water will turn brown. Um, trust me, I know this by <laughs> by trial and error. So we definitely want to go a little bit at a time. And like I did before, you just take a little handful at a time and sprinkle it in. And that's really um, all you do. And I'm going to put another little handful because I don't think that we need to go very high guys so we're just gonna put a little bit in there and we're gonna let it go so you can see where I threw it in see that brown yeah too much pH guys and it will turn your water brown do you see that brown where I threw it in the water right there yep that's why less is more guys a little bit at a time and that is it and you're gonna um, and you can see where I threw it in it's moving on along that way too much guys will turn your pool brown so that's why a little bit at a time um, you don't want to go hog wild and think oh it is way low so I need to go uh, crazy on it you don't a little bit at a time and you're gonna let your pump circulate that through and uh, then we're going to come back and do another test. So, so stay tuned and I'm going to post this video to show you guys how um, the chlorine level finally leveled off, tapered off, and it is in the good. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow, guys. So keep a watching. Thanks for watching, guys.